pancakes make a tasty change from cereal or toast for breakfast. Homemade pancakes can be easy to make and less expensive than commercial mixes. Your own dry mix can even be made ahead and stored, ready for pancakes anytime. A favorite meal for breakfast is pancakes. You can buy it in the pancake mix form, like these. Check to make sure that you don't have to put something else into it. Sometimes mixes are made so that you have to put in your own milk. You have to put in your own uh, egg. And if you do, then the cost of that goes up. These are so simple to make that we prefer to make our own pancakes from scratch. And we can even make our own mix. Pancakes are a wonderful thing to have for breakfast too, especially on a Saturday or Sunday morning when you have a little bit of time. You could even have them for brunch. Sometimes we even have pancakes for supper. They can be the equivalent of a piece of white bread though, if you don't have the right kind of recipe. Look for, again, those whole wheat flours and oat and, and ingredients that you can put in them, blueberries and so on. It's very similar in method to the muffins, so it won't take us too much to learn, one and a half cups of quick cooking oats. This is a half cup measure I'm using. I always just leave this, this old half cup right in there. Then we want two cups of milk. We're putting this in a separate bowl because we want the oats to absorb the milk a little bit while we're doing the other things. So we do this first. Sometimes you could do it at night and have it ready in the morning and that would even be better. But this will be fine. Just let it sit for a while. Set it aside. We could use all whole wheat or all uh, all purpose but I still like to use half and half if possible, just to get the family used to. Used to more whole wheat flour. It's, it's a beautiful taste once you get used to it. Tastes, tastes great as well as having the nutrients in it that we really need. Same kind of measuring. Spoon it in lightly, measure it off. <laughs> the leavening this time is going to be baking powder because we're using sweet milk. There's no acid in it. The reason I have this plastic over top of this container <laughs> is because when they designed this container for the little piece for you to cut out, they didn't allow for a tablespoon to go in. We are going to be putting in a whole lot of baking powder, like two tablespoons. I would have to put in six teaspoons. I prefer to use a tablespoon. There's many times when we need to use it. So I had to cut this back a little bit in order to get the tablespoon in. So it's two tablespoons of baking powder or six teaspoons of baking powder. Seems kind of silly to have to do this, doesn't it? But this baking powder is so much less expensive than any other brand that it's worth the, prob worth the trouble of doing it. One, two tablespoons of brown sugar. Measure it exactly like we did before, packed in the container. three quarters of a teaspoon of salt to bring out all these natural flavors of the foods that we have here. Three quarters. Always measure. One, two, three, using for the one quarter teaspoon measure. I'll mix this all up. Now our liquids go into another bowl. And it's three eggs, a quarter of a cup of oil, Look. a 
and beat them. Put some air in here. What we're going to do now is dump that in there and give it a beat again. Because this is all our liquids. So this is a form of what we call the muffin method again, but it's not muffins that we're making. Very easy method with liquids and dries in two separate bowls, and the fat is a liquid. We put the, should go the other way around, but I made a mistake and put them in the wrong bowls. I should have had it the other way around, but it doesn't really matter. We know what we're doing. This is going to form a thin batter. Don't over stir pancakes. The batter should be slightly lumpy. And don't worry, you won't have little lumps of flour in your pancakes when you get them cooked. But the one mistake, or many mistakes, that can be made in pancake making is to over stir and over mix. Because you think that all those little lumps should be stirred out. If you do that, you, you just, muffins may taste all right, but they won't look as nice as they should. We're just going to let that batter sit for a few minutes while we get the pans ready. And that will help it a little bit too, because the, the, the rolled oats will absorb a more, little more of the liquid and get to a better consistency for pouring. So we'll set that aside and get some other things ready. This is the trickiest part of the pancakes, is getting your pans the right temperature to do the cooking. But let's get ready for further on as well. Put a plate in your oven. Your oven is just turned it's on to warm. Oven. To put our pancakes in, ready to have them to eat. Now I've turned the elements on. I'm cooking, I've got a griddle here, but not everybody has griddle. This is an ideal way to cook them if you have the equipment. But a lot of us don't. A lot of us simply have the frying pan that is like this. So this is harder to cook in because it isn't Teflon lined or, or non-stick lined, but we're going to try and do it. We do, to test if the, if the pan is the right temperature, we throw a little bit of water on it. Those are about right. See the way they're dancing? Just put it on. There they are, bubbling and rolling around in the pan and then they eventually evaporate. And that's the temperature we want. Once you have made pancakes with your equipment, you'll get to know. You'll get to know just the, the place on your element of your stove that's right for your pan and, and also for your grill. Let's try for this pan. Don't put fat in until you get your pan the right, uh, the right um, temperature. So then we need a little bit of fat or oil. It could be butter. A quarter cup measure is a good one to use. Gives you a pancake about the right size that you need. We're going to watch for certain things to make sure that they're cooking right. Notice the little shape of them. But we're going to watch for bubbles. Let's see if this pan's ready to put some on. See if I can work two pans. The, the part about pancakes is you usually have a lot of people when you have them and you, everybody wants their pancakes at once and they like instant, instant meals these days. So we'll get them made ahead and stick them in the oven. Look at how nice and bubbly it is. That's exactly the way we want them to look. How their edges are coming up, nice and even. They have them thrown out. Let's peek under first. Oh, I think out, oh, so let's try. Well, very good. Don't turn pancakes over more than once. You just turn them once. There we are, a nice great big pile of pancakes. Time to wait. Now there's all kinds of toppings that you can put on your pancakes. So let's 
help ourselves to some pancakes here. We have table syrup, maple syrup, of course, which is the real thing. Table syrups are ma made as an imitation to the maple syrup. They're made from sugar and water and boiled. We can make our own syrup, which will be even cheaper than this, but this is a very good, reasonable price for syrups. Uh, but don't neglect the other kind of toppings that you can put on them. Corn syrup, kids love it, and it's, it's less expensive than the maple syrups or the table syrups. Uh, jams are, can be put on anything that you put on toast and bagels. Lots of people like to put uh, butter on before they start. Personally, I don't because you're just simply adding more fat, and I really don't think it's necessary. So, some, some of our mock maple syrup on here. You can see it looks like table syrup. We've made it ourselves. Now on this one, we'll put the regular table syrup, just so we can see the difference. You'll think you'll find that they'll taste reasonably similar. And this one is a lot less expensive even than this, which is reasonably cheap. So there we are.